What's up? Get up. This bro Yoda. Get on up. Go ride with me to OKC, man. That's how it is. 1245. At night. Go and get loaded. Time to go get loaded. Let's ride. Let's go take a ride to OKC. Go holler Durant and see where he's trying to go. See if he's trying to come check these rockets out. Okay. Let's ride. Head not to scout down holes, pick up some tools. Bring to Oklahoma City to their location out right there. Wish I was going to a rig, but I guess they get some tools together for a startup or something. Hope it ain't no heavy, heavy. When they told me about 7,000 pounds, like two motors, but you never know, man. We'll find out when we get there. You never know. Man, it's been a long one. I've been waiting like shit. It's a, well, it's Saturday now because it's 1 o'clock in the morning, but that's like, you remember the last load I did was a Friday. Started getting loaded around 11 o'clock at night, so. Starting again, Sam Bradley, man. Been waiting almost, what, six days, five days, something like that. Just all feel real slow, man. It need to pick up, man. Every day when you're sitting at home, you think about a change. You know, do I need to go do something different? But you got a lot invested. That's one of the biggest questions and decisions you have to make when the bell. You know, because you done invested a lot into your equipment. Number one, you like definitely being your own boss in some way. So, you know. But I've been thinking about some different options. Probably get my own authority, go all the way on my own. But then, you, like I say, it's easy to do that. But then you got to have customers and some true brokers. That's gonna really work with you and really get you some prices. Otherwise, you're spinning your wheels. So you really have to think the decision, think through real good, because it can sink you worse than what you're doing. You know, next week this might pick up a little bit. Oh, I feel might just you know enough to sustain what I need to survive. Me and my family. So. Really got to read and stay abreast of the market and, see, you know, try to make the best decision, man. And stay tuned. Heading to go pick up. I hope the tool's ready, you know. They called me probably about 8 o'clock. First it was a 10 o'clock pickup. Then it went to a 1.30 to 2 o'clock pickup, so... See how it goes. Pull it up to Scott Down Hole. Like I say, I hope these motors are ready. Sure, I hope these motors are ready, man. Yeah, oh, but we still having the problems, man. We wait a lot of times, man. Find out. Let's go find out. Look like they still working. Find out Truck here. Hello? I hope the 
the motor's ready, man. But dudes, they gonna go and find out what's going on. So. Man, as usual, man. As usual, man, the tool's not ready. You know, they want you to be on time, but they never ready, man. It's crazy, man, but uh, in the part, cold part about it, you gotta give up two hours before you can start charging at most of these companies. So, it's a part of the game, man. Spew here. Corner store, dollar ninety nine, man. You can't beat this, man. Can't beat this dollar ninety nine fuel. Make sure you come here straight. Still hunting that deal. Dollar ninety nine fuel, man. Think I'm gonna throw another strap on top of this. It's called some coring barrels. He said something that they test the sand before they start drilling. They're not motors. They look like motors. Let's do it right here. It's a good example by not looking at your mirrors, paying attention to your mirrors. You got a big flat. Traffic, man, like I say, people merging, every little bit of everything, man. I see my dent sign, so I'm gonna stay in my dent lane. the Lou Hut show, getting some of them good financial tips. Gotta stay on the Lou Hut show, man. Good, good financial tips, taxes, business, a little bit of everything, man. Got about 82 miles to go. So I'm on schedule pretty good. Stop, took my little break, 
load check. Ease it on down there now. Ease it on down there. Stay tuned. I made it to Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. Got a few miles before I get to the drop off. You know you're in Oklahoma, you see that red dirt, man. Woo. That shit hard to get off your truck. Yeah, I got a great pressure wash, especially going to a rig when it's muddy. Talking about some work, gotta get all on the other body, get all that mud off. Uh -huh. Pulling up at my location. There it is right Back haul. I didn't think I was gonna get a back haul anyway. So. Even going now trip. turn right. Even going trip. Win some, you lose some. Hope I can get another back haul. What the end of the pay period on the thirtieth. something come through we'll see heading back man it's hot ride back for a little bit pull over probably take me a good little power nap maybe an hour something like that and get back on it bring it on in What's happening? Stuck in this Dallas traffic. Setting me back. About good though. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Stay in my lane. Boy, they got all this construction. These lanes narrow too, man. Curvy. Go to H sign. Back on 40. What's happening? Make it back into Houston and shit. Major wreck on 45, man. I tell you, just wreck out the wreck, man. Put me back, put me back. Man. You got a little nice little setup. A little sleeper. I don't know if I'm feeling a, a gray and pink, but <laughs> you got a reason for it. Feel like you always gotta. For somebody, RIP. Cool. What's up, fellas? I woke up after that long 890 mile run from yesterday when we went to OKC. Just chilling, sitting here, and ate a good breakfast. Fresh on this paperwork, man. Putting in settlements. receipts and stuff man we'll make a little video probably how to work the quickbooks man it's real easy man like i say once you set everything up man and have it just catered to your business and your likings man like you're setting up your chart of accounts to the things that you know relate to your business truck like your truck payments uh travel meals um Everything, trailer repair, trailer parts, everything. Like I got the chart of accounts right here, man. Uh, 
When you set up your chart or come, see if I can grow it bigger. But you set up like your see if it focus. All right, there you go a little bit. Set up your lobby. Like I got my checking accounts, like your petty cash. You keep petty cash. Like we go to the bank, get ATM, withdraw fifty dollars, so you keep the receipt, and then. You add it to petty cash, so every time you buy some cash, you come back and you accredit it to your petty cash. Payroll, you got everything, like as far as, let's see if I can scroll down. Try to, stuff like I got, like, man, uh, see, man, you got like a, Truck payment, advertising, bank charges, business and license, like when you buy your tags and token trailer, anything dealing with the business, charitable contributions, commission fee, contract labor, cost of labor, different little stuff, man. And once you set up them charitable accounts, man, it's easy, man. It's real easy to set up, man, and work, man. And then, like I say, bookkeepers charging you $100 a month to do this. So, at least on average, about $100 for a small business, man. That's just the bookkeeping part. It's not taking care of the taxes, your franchise taxes. Call the earnings, reportings, and stuff like that if you want to do it. So, like I say, man, it goes into it. <laughs> so a lot goes into running your business, man, your hot shot business, man. It's more, like I say, every day, turning the steering wheel, man. I know you can't really see it, but like I say, anybody need any help? And man, I I got like the um QuickBooks Essential. <laughs> That's Champ. Say what's up, Champ? Yeah. What's up? All right, my boy. If you want to enter transactions? You can go ahead and put go to bank, and I'm gonna go to expense. Once I go to expense, if I just want to input it manual, go ahead and put new transaction. And it's expense. On this last trip, I just got two receipts. So this one here, the first one. I probably got it already saved. It's the vendor was Burger King. Which on the meals you don't have to. I just do it all the way. I thought I would have Burger King saved in, but you just go in and put if you want to save it. As a vendor, where well, you don't have to do it no more, just add it, save it. So now that vendor is saved all the time. I use a credit card, payment method, credit card. You can put a reference number if you want. There's some maintenance or something, I'll put a reference number. So I can put account, then you go to accounts. It was a travel meal. So I go to travel meal. Oh, you can write it in. I mean, type it in, which I should have just did. Travel meal. I don't put nothing. I spent. Five dollars and thirty-seven cent. Save and new. That's how easy it is to input it. And I see I messed up, so I can go back and find it. I didn't, I forgot to check the date, so I can go back on it. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna do this next one though.
the right. Quick trip. Add. So once I add these vendors, I don't have to add them no more. Credit card and the date was the purchase on the 25th. I need to go back and switch 25th on a payment method. Payment method was a credit card. Travel meal. Spent two dollars and seventy cents. Go back over it. Quick trip. Save. Now the one I just messed up, I can go back. I can close this out. Then I go to my expenses. So I'll show up. This the one right here, 537. And double click it. Go back to it. Edit it. And resave it. That's how easy it is to do.